Hey guys, so I have had a lot of requests for how I braid my hair. I do have some, just a little bit of laying. I used to have quite a bit more. Usually I would razor my hair out and that would be again so that I could get a lot of body into my hair, but I don't really like the look of braids when my hair is really thin. And I've I have in the past done the little cornrow type braids down the back and then main braids but I felt like it was too time consuming. So this is just two braids that really looks like it's a crown around my head, but it's just two braids. Now, if you were to part down the middle and just do two braids like this, you'd have two braids, one here, one here, they both kind of get in the way. However, if you do it this way, it takes a lot of that length up because it has to go over your shoulder. So this is how it works. I've already parted it like this as if I was just gonna do my hair, like if I was gonna blow dry it or something. So I already have not necessarily a deep side part, but just a little bit of a side part. Now, you guys will have to forgive me. I'll try and stay down so that you can see everything I'm doing. What I'm going to do is the same kind of braid I would do if I was doing two braids. I can do it either Dutch or French, but what I'm aiming for is staying along the very side of my hairline. and I'm just taking that edge. I don't want to have a big old braid when I'm finished. I want a very, more of a decorative braid and, and really all this is trying to do is that if you do have a little bit of a bang or a little bit of a um, taper there in your hair, it holds it into your braid. Whereas if I just did a side braid on the side, all my bangs would come out during the day all of that layering would come out over the course of the day and I need these braids to be very functional. Okay, so I'm taking this down all the way as a very tiny little braid and all it's going to do is hold in anything here on the side that wants to come loose. And it's just adding a nice accent later. And then it's nice if the tiny one has something that matches your hair, so in this instance it's red, or not red, wrong color, hair red, meaning orange. Or you can use a clear elastic, it keeps it from showing up later. Okay, so now we're going to start on the other side. Now the trick on this again is to keep it close to your hairline, right here, and to take bigger pieces, but make sure to keep it close to your hairline. So the one that I'm going to pull hardest is the one at the back of my head to the front. sure not exactly sure what you can see and I'm not braiding straight back towards the back of my head I'm braiding down towards my ear and then once I hit the base of my ear then I will go back, but I will stay close to my hairline. And when you work in the braid, you want it to come in from the top, not the bottom.
And then if you have long hair, you want to come in from the front again, just kind of reorganize it in your hand so you can bring it around the front of your shoulder. Otherwise, you won't be able to finish it without it kind of having a weird, a weird lumpy uh, look. So my hair is all the way down to my, um, the base of my spine. And by braiding it like this, it, um, by braiding it like that, it comes just, I don't know what I'm showing you. It comes just to there. By the way, t-shirt shout out. If you want a Dirt Patch Heaven t-shirt, I will put that in the link. But that is how I do my hair. And you can see it wraps around my head. It holds all the bangs in, all the wispies. And, oh, it's really hard to show this. How do I show all of it? I could back up. That's, there we go. That's the bottom. And then in the back, it looks like that. And it's hard to show both the, the crown. It's hard to show the crown part of it and the length part of it. Can you see the length? Is that better? It's kind of hard to show it. There we go. Okay, I have fabric pinned up behind me as my new backboard background so that I can use my good light and you can see me, but unfortunately it's not wide enough. And so I have a hard time like zooming out and zooming in on it. So uh, the hair products that I use, I like the Just Nutritive and I also like Loma. Um, those are the two that I have found that do not irritate my skin. They have organic essential oils in them. They have good uh, other kind of oils in them. I do really well with them. And um, I haven't really found a hairspray that I like, but I love the Loma because it gives texture but hold when I'm braiding. I actually left it at home and I think about it every day. And because it's really expensive, I haven't purchased more. I, I'm using the Just Nutritive because it gives you a huge jar. Yes, thank you. So this is the, the Just, this is the Just Nutritive one. I think this was $27, but it's actually very heavy and very large. Um, and this one is the Nutritive Hair Setting Lotion. And it has things like rose flower, hydrosol, aloe, um, cupua, <laughs> cupua Q butter, um, avocado oil, squalane oil, kiwi butter, kiwi yeah. nut oil, prunus, almond oil, coconut oil, fractionated, um, brassica, let's see, broccoli seed oil, macadamia seed, nut seed oil, Takuma butter, marita, or burrito, anyway, everything in here is that kind of those hard to read, but very, um, um, basic oils. So, so I actually do need to go get some more. I have seen it on Amazon, but I don't know if it, it's actually legitimately the same thing. I know that when I paid for it in the salon, it was $30. I've seen other places that purport to have it, but a lot of times if you don't get it in a salon, you don't know you're getting the same thing. And the reason I use them is because I have skin major skin sensitivities and, um, I just came out of a big autoimmune flash up so I had to be really careful to only use my safe stuff. Hopefully you enjoy that. If you'd like to see another hair tutorial, if you have any tips on how in the world I'm going, because I can't paint in here, it's a rental, and I don't feel like I should be like swathing the whole room in fabric. So I'm trying to figure out how to make this work. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know. I don't know how to show you the whole braid. You're gonna no, take it up here and, and do this. But then they can't see the end. Yeah, We're trying can, to show them the whole the end would be right here. Oh, would you think that looks glamorous? Yeah, I think it does. It looks glamorous. Yeah, that's... Okay, so you see what I'm doing with my hands? I'm kind of opening it up and letting it go on to the string. Okay. Okay, now slow your feet down just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take this from my hands. 